So to access the data query tool, go to the tools, and you have something called a query tool over here. So just click on that. And this box, this dialog box opens up. Now here you have many options. You can open a query that you have saved. You can connect to a database, or you can connect to Urban ODBC. So connect to a database, let's see what it does. So if you want to connect to a database, then you have to provide all your authentication. You can choose the kind of database you want to connect to. Your name, password, give all those characteristics, connect, and then you can directly run the queries on that database through uh, Irwin, just to get an idea of the sample data if you need it. So we don't have a current connectivity to any of the databases, so we are not going to explore this feature. But what we're going to see is another feature here, which is connect to Urban ODBC. Now, what does that do? What is Urban ODBC? So it basically stores all the metadata information, the Urban related that around the data model that we have designed in Urban. So how do we connect to it? Just click on connect to Urban ODBC and it gets connected. You can disconnect using this button. Now, once you have connected, what kind of queries can you execute? So I have a simple query over here. Okay, let me just pull that out. Okay, so this is a query that I have here. Let's just select it and try to execute and see what happens. So just paste it over here and click on this button, execute. So this is what happens. So these are the kind of queries that can be executed through the urban ODBC connectivity. And as you can see in the query, it says select e dot name as entity, e dot name as attribute, and some function trans on e dot logical data type as data type from m zero dot entity in a joint m zero dot visible attribute on some columns or by one, two. So what are these tables? Basically, these are metadata tables, and these are the metadata schema. So you have this M0 schema, you have this EM0 schema, within which you have a list of tables. This is called entity. And as we can see, we have pulled the column E dot name as entity. So what are the values? These are the entity names or the table names. Then we have something called attribute coming up from the visible attribute columns, and that are your column names within these tables. And then we have pulled the data type, and we needed to apply a function on that called translate because it might have been stored in some other format. So now we can see the data type of these columns within these entities. All right? So this is how uh, we can write a query. So you can just play on this as well. This is simply uh, the metadata queries. So these are uh, these store information of your data model, the number of entities that you have created, what are your column names that you have created, what are the data types that you have created, which ones are the logical data types, which are the physical data types. So all that metadata kind of data management information, if you need, then you can use this tool and you can write this kind of query. So let's just go and see what kind of columns we have in this table. So let's just do this. Just this right over here. Select char from this table over here. 
So you can see what all information is available to you. So this is your long ID. This is your name. So these are attribute names. Uh, who's the owner? So that is, it's giving the model names. Then this is attribute. Um, or order. So you have a lot of lot of lot of information in this. You have the logical data type. You have the master reference. All this kind of information is over here in this table. So to get more information on this, <clears throat> and if you need to uh, perform any um, metadata-related activities, then you have this manual over here. Um, where is that? Okay. So you have this manual called the ODBC Reporting Guide. It is included with your installation. So if you go to the CA folder where the CA, where the Urban Data Model is installed, you'll uh, be able to see a list of PDFs which have information about the tool and the different functionalities that can be used through the tool. This is one of them. So you can go through this if you want to explore this feature and you'll be able to see there are so many schemas. There's the M0 schema, M1 schema, EM0 schema, EM1 schema, and L schema, and the functions that you can apply to these schemas so you have a lot of queries sample queries listed over here so you can like this all right the query for returning a list of all the properties that change during a modeling session so you will get a lot of idea on how this can be used to and how this property is very useful, which tables you need to pull the information from, which schema you need to pull that information from, what are the columns you need to combine upon. So all that kind of information you can get through this guide. And this can be an important feature sometimes if you want to track the changes or like do things like that. Right? So this is just one of the features in the Urban Data Modeler, and the same thing can be used to connect directly to the database as well, but we don't have the connectivity established because we have an older version and it only connects to some of the older versions of the databases, but if you had the connectivity established, you could directly query the data model as well, right? So disconnect, just disconnect, connecting to Urban ODBC, just click on this button, it connects automatically. So nothing needs to be done as such. And whatever query you want, you can go to that manual and select your tables, whatever query you want, just go and execute it, and you'll have your results over here to be seen. And we came to this page to tools and the query tool. And then we click on this to connect to the Urban ODBC. And we can write down the queries over here. 